Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am talking to you now from Spain. We got here yesterday lunchtime, I believe. I am on the hunt for a new horse. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, I have always wanted a beautiful Spanish horse. Um, there's just something about the grey stallions with the long billowing mane that just, oh, it just gets to me. And the goal of this is to find a horse with a beautiful nature, that's very important to me, if they have a kind nature, and also for them to just be very sweet and easy and to have fun with the horse, to have a good partnership and a good fun relationship. I'm not looking for anything too flashy. I don't necessarily want to compete with this horse. I just want to enjoy it and, you know, just do it for the love of horses and the love of riding. So I'm actually filming this clip at the end of the day. Um, I've had the busiest day trying some beautiful horses, I must say. And I may have found the one I really like. You guys will just have to have a little guess when watching this video. Um, we have traveled all around Southern Spain. Uh, it's been a definitely quite scenic day. Um, I did fall asleep in the back of the car pretty much every time we went in it because I am exhausted. I have never ridden Spanish horses before and I have never worn the saddles they have. Um, I don't actually know the proper name for them, but I have never sat in those saddles. and. I, they all seem to start in sitting trot. That's something that was very new to me and something that's very tiring. So I'm tired, but had a very productive day. A day also full of, uh, of learning curves and possibly culture shocks is the right word. Um, horses here are treated very differently to the art back home, and not necessarily badly, just very different. Um, what's normal here is not as familiar to me. Um, so it's been different you know I, I, I a new way of doing things um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and coming along the journey with me whilst I look for my new horse So we are just in the car on the way to meet our contact who's then gonna take us to see all these beautiful horses today um, it is very mountainous and very scenic. It's been a really nice drive, but we have no idea where we are. Um, my mum's driving. She's uh, she's doing very good on the wrong side of the road in the windiest mountainous. Pretty one on the video now. 
So horse number one that we saw was a Liberty kind of fun trick horse and he was stunning, so much fun. I had the best time playing with him. Um, he, we did actually get him vetted a few months ago and he failed. Uh, so we came to see what it was like in person and I was really sad to see a few lame strides in my opinion. So very difficult. He's a much older horse and I, it's very sad when they don't pass their vet. But I came to see and I did fall in love, but there's not much you can do about it. So we are on the way to see the next load of horses. That horse was absolutely stunning. So much fun to have a little go at the Liberty. It's not as easy as you'd think, and I do not have the knack yet, but that is something to learn. So onwards to the next lot. His name? His name? His name? Nombre? Nombre? Buscador. Buscador. means uh, searcher. Search. Well, I'm here with Okay. <laughs> They are all Stalin. Yes. I could just tell. Yeah. 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 It's okay. Find my man. <laughs> it's so much. Okay. Es muy es muy sensible. Dile, dile que cuando lo monte que no hace falta, por ejemplo, que tire la rienda de dentro, sino que lo, que lo lleve pilotado, con que lo pilote, porque como está muy flexible, ¿sabes lo que te queda? Ok. El caballo, ¿sabes lo que te digo? Okay. Que el caballo no trabaja, por ejemplo, en rienda, sino que tú vas y con las piernas el caballo gira con nada. ¿Sabes lo que te queda? Ok. Muy, muy... Ok. True. <laughs> <laughs> it's true he turns with the seat <laughs> you're beautiful dude gosh long bellowing mane best looking horse 
puts my hair care routine to shame. <laughs> He's cute. Ponte aquí, que yo no salga. Cuelo, cuelo. Gracias. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Horse number two. Oh, this was probably one of the prettiest horses we saw today. Um, he was very, very cool, like a very relaxed ride, very sweet. I didn't have much of a contact at all. And that's not to say he had a contact issue. He was very light in the rain, so I'd barely touched his mouth, which was, which was really nice. And he was very calm in himself, which I really liked. And very muscular, very, like, beefy. <laughs> Matty, Matty, yeah. <laughs> oh, the, <laughs> the flies, I'm not used to the flies yet. So this is our third horse we have come to see. Very pretty. I think he just kicked the wall though. I did just see him kick the wall. This saddle is so comfy. I feel like it makes my bum look nice. I'm not really sure, but it feels like it makes my bum look good. He feels like a little tank. <laughs> Yeah, so much wider. You're a chunky dude. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, he's so chunky. I don't think I've ever seen a neck this wide. Am I trotting? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I'm now. <laughs> I'm not used to the Spanish trot right now, so <laughs> I'm not sure I'm even trotting. <laughs> Good boy. While the saddle's comfy, it's not very sturdy. I feel like I'm going to slide off the side. <laughs> oh. Horse number three. Um, this was not my favourite horse out of today. He was quite anxious when riding and quite a stressy horse, which I, I do really like calm, chilled vibes, and obviously that could be because he had new people riding him, could be for many different reasons, but he was absolutely beautiful, like built like a tank, like he looked to me like he could be in the cavalry, he looked like he could go to war, he was so big, um, but potentially not for me. He'll keep the black on his legs and the dapple on his bum. And the mane? The mane will still stay a little bit darker. Oh. 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 O
Lo que pasa es que el caballo te lo tenemos para ir a larga, para el pistacuito, para... Jane, I might need you to come and translate for me. Sorry. La rubia está bien. Sí. Yo estoy traductora. ¿Eh? ¿Qué te has preguntado? Que lo que ella que me explique a mí ella, yo le explico a ella cómo va el mando de la cara, el mando de la boca, cómo tiene que toquetear un poquito las manos. So he'll explain to you what you need to do with your hands, your okay. legs and everything. Okay. Oh, speak to me. Yeah, he looks at all that. Lo que ustedes lo que sí quiero transmitir con este caballo es que si este caballo por lo que sea, si os quedáis vosotros con él, como lo sigáis un poquito más, es un crack. El caballo no es, no lo hemos explotado nosotros como crack, porque el, el cliente que tengo no es... The, the horse could be fantastic, but he just needs a little bit more work. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Vamos allá. But he okay. can do anything, he can go out on the street, he can go... Wait, okay. Ella no ha montado mucho en el mundo ayer, así, ¿no? Yeah, beautiful. Stronger than he looks. Ah, gracias. <laughs> Esta. Take hold on that, right? Oh! <laughs> Dile que deje la mano a un poquito baja, vamos a piafar primero. Deje la mano baja y cuando yo te diga ya, que suba la mano hacia arriba. Okay, so he said we're going to start with a little bit of piaf. Okay. Put your hand down. He said when he tells you, lift your hand up, but they're going to do the little bit. Okay. okay. Mano baja. Hand down. Ahora, dile que suba. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Okay. Ah, quítalo ya, si queréis. Muchas es gracias. Muy, es muy bueno, pero le, le falta montarlo más, ¿vale? Le falta montarlo. Y a él también, él lo que pasa es que lo monta, él la ha dado más ocasiones. Sí. Okay. What a sweetheart. He's a very good character, but he's a very sweet horse. Ahí, 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 lo más. Very sweet horse. Horse number four was beautiful like in the light this horse looked silver it was unbelievably pretty um he was they didn't actually know how old he was and they did struggle to recall his name so that was an interesting interesting one and he is used in the performances i believe the the guy training him was a was a long rainer and they do like the long rain performances i'm not super familiar with it but i need to look that up He was very cool, like the long reining, I've never really done it. I have no experience in long reining, so it looked a little complex to me, but he was absolutely beautiful. He could rear up, he could do everything. It was a little bit more of a culture shock for me at this yard because it was teetering on the edge of like circus performance. And I am quite soft. I like horses to be horses and I like, them to be very well treated so and I'm not I'm not saying he was badly treated I'm just saying it was on the edge for me of looking a little bit circusy when he was rearing up and oh it just it, oh it just clenched something in, in inside my heart and I'm not sure I liked that entirely and I did actually notice they had a very strange noseband on him I need to find the name of this nose band. So I asked, so the nose band they had on the horse, it was, it was strange because the reason I noticed it was because they gave me two sets of reins and rather than being like a double bridle, they said to not use so much of the bit and use the rein on the nose band, which I was really confused about. And I actually asked them what it was afterwards. And he said it was called like, uh, forgive my pronunciation, but a serrator, serrator. Essentially, it is a metal noseband, and I was not the happiest on, on learning this because 
I then Googled it and I asked them to show it to me. And theirs didn't have the, the spiky edges. Theirs was just a metal nose band without the spikes. I mean, that could just be the one they showed me um, or it could have been what they used. But upon Googling it, I saw that it was actually one with spikes on designed to really put the pressure on the horse and potentially it can injure them. Um, the guys did explain to me that it was part of the Spanish traditional way of training. They used to use them a lot. And he said that in a good trainer or rider's hands, it shouldn't harm the horse. And, oh, it's a tough one. I, I respect their culture 100%, but for me, it's not something I would ever use. It's not something I would ever encourage anyone to use. And it did make me a little sad, to be honest, to see horses having a metal noseband with essentially what looked like spikes on it. And I then started noticing that a few of the horses had, you know, sore spots on their nose and, oh, it was just a rough one for me. So yeah, um, if you see this in the video, guys, it was not something I'd ever seen before. It's not something we do in dressage. It's not something I've ever used. I would never put metal on my horses other than you know using spurs that roll off the skin i would never do anything that would potentially break the skin or hurt the horse so that was a little bit of a shock and again a culture shock potentially because he said it was very traditional but it's not something i agree with so i will not be using that in future Hace paso español, hace un poquito de piafé, pasa hace desde abajo, uh -huh. de, de, de plaza y eso. Y luego el caballo es manso, ha sí. andado, no es nada. He feels very short, like short bodied. Stirrups are a little long for me still, but they're fine. It's actually got a beautiful canter, this feels beautiful. And can he change? Okay. Yeah, he's a sweet boy. Very sweet. Good boy.
cool. So guys, I am exhausted. I have ridden so many horses today and they've sort of all started blurring into one. I've seen the most stunning grey stallions today and just had a really wonderful day. I mean, it's definitely been different to what I'm used to, but it's been very interesting seeing all the different yards and places and some stunning horses. So absolutely exhausted. I need to go back and get myself something to eat and a shower. I am gross. I am so sweaty and so filthy. So yeah. Okay. Uh, horse number five. So this horse was very pretty, probably the most dressage horse we saw today. And he was very cute. Um, I'm pretty sure he was six or seven. I could be wrong. A little bit anxious again in his riding. He didn't look it from the ground, but he felt it a bit. But I did quite like this horse. He was very sweet and he had a beautiful canter, like a really beautiful canter. It felt just so rhythmical. There was probably three horses I really liked. To, no, there was four. There was four out of five that I loved, but one of them again was a little lame. So we'll say three. Um, the only one I didn't really gel with was the the big boy, which was number three. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a difficult decision. I'm going to have a deliberation tonight. I'm going to review all the footage I got. Uh, I'm going to speak to my mum about it because she was there with me and just kind of see which horse out of all three would, would suit me best. And then I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know which horse was your favorite. Um, I would be so interested and please do like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time with hopefully a new horse. <laughs> Bye.